dear students welcome to the video once again we are back and today we'll see problems on freely suspended planes what if a plane is suspended about one of a point it could be a corner or a side how the projection will be there we have a problem here the problem goes like this an isosceles triangle of 40 mm long base side 60 mm long altitude is freely suspended from one corner of base its plane is 40 degree inclined to vp draw its projection right so here we are been given with a plane it's an isosceles triangle and its description is 40 mm long base and its altitude is 60 mm long so this is the initial detail description of it now whenever we talk about problems for freely suspended case it is a plane and it is suspended about a point so suspended matlab wo hawa mein latak raha hai latkaya gaya hai aisa wo plane hai so sabse pehle we have to understand in this problem the plane will be always perpendicular to hp so that that is the first understanding right in this problem hence it will remain parallel or inclined to vp this is another case and the third is it will give you a line view in the top view so let us assume that the surface is parallel to vp so this is our initial condition so therefore when a surface is parallel to vp we'll always start with the front view because the front view will give us the true shape but initially first we'll draw the given plane to draw a given plane we can draw it separately so to begin with we are given with a base so base is 40 so you can draw a line of 40 take a midpoint so the midpoint will come at 20 mm that is 2 cm and to this we draw a perpendicular line that will be of the given altitude so humare paas given altitude hai 60 mm long so we draw a line at 60 mm distance so this is the altitude and we finish off the triangle So we get a triangle of given dimension the base is of 40 mm you can give the dimensions and the height is say 70 mm so this is 40 mm and altitude is 60 right now we need to find center of gravity or it could be the centroid of the plane so whenever you talk about suspending suspension can be done about the center of gravity jab kabhi bhi for example agar ye aapke paas plane it is a semicircle right if this is a semicircle and if it is to be suspended jab bhi aap suspend karoge about this point so the center of gravity will come about this line if it is this point if you suspend it like this so you will have a center of gravity straight along this line right so the center of gravity will lie on the altitude right but it has a distance for example if this is h if you have the altitude say h so the centroid will be at a distance of h by 3 it will be at a distance of h by 3 right so you need to keep this in mind for triangle for any triangle normally it will be h by 3 so we have 60 as the altitude 60 divided by 3 will give you 20 so at a distance of 20 we mark this point and we label this as capital G let us label the triangle this is a b and this is c 
So with this, we begin the problem. So initially, we draw line x, y at a comfortable distance. Now the biggest challenge is, इसको हमको reorient करना है. ये तो हमारा homework है, for example. इसको हमको लटकाना है. कहा लटकाना है? कौन से point के about लटकाना है? It is suspended from one corner of the base side. So base side है. तो you can you can make it suspended about A or about B. So it is up to you. Anything will do. Right. So to do the suspension, for example, let us say I've got a line over here. Right, this is a particular line, and for example, this is the ceiling of the room, and I am suspending this. So what I do is, I will draw initially a line. Let this be a construction line, on which the gravity center of gravity will come, or the cent centered of the triangle will come. ये तो तय है, right? So on this point A will come, it is at a comfortable distance. So I am labeling it as A dash or A prime, right? I have suspended about the corner of base that is A. And now I know one thing, right? That this A and G, you can connect it over here also, that A and G will come in one straight line. When you suspend it about A, right? So this G is coming on the same direction, right? So what is this distance? We need to measure it, right? So we, what we'll do is, so taking this distance in your compost, that is A G, we place the center at A and mark G over here. Right, so we mark G over here, and with this, we have this distance over here. Right, so A G distance is over here, and now we need to get. We have two reference point. Right, so you can label this as G dash. So we have got A and G. Now, with the help of two points, we need to obtain rest other two points. So what we do is, we take distance of A B in the compass. A B in the compass. Keep it on A dash and mark the center. Then we take distance G B in the compass. Keep the center on G. and mark the arc so we get point b dash and now to get c we take distance ac in the compass take distance ac in the compass and mark an arc so we get arc over here somewhere and ac is equal to bc so same distance keep center at b and we get this arc so get point C dash so we connect all the three points and we get the figure in such a way that it is suspended about one of the corners of the base which is of 40 mm So after observing, we come to a conclusion that G and A, when suspended, they fall in one straight line. Now this is suspended and we project and we get the points. When the observer is looking from the top, we get the line view, right? So it is a line that is obtained.
take a suitable distance and we can draw the line over here right so the names are b a comma g and c so we have this three points over here now what is said in the problem is that this plane which is suspended about one of the corner is now inclined at 45 degrees to vp so when we talk about 45 degrees inclination with vp so definitely the inclination is fall below xy so in that case what we do is we will tilt this line at an angle of 45 degrees so you can take the projections from over here and with the help of the protector at a suitable distance mark a point so at a 45 degrees line it could be drawn right so you can mark point 45 A light line at 45 degrees and mark the distance that is a B from here to here so we get point B over here and similarly we mark point C so here it is a comma G and this is C now we need to project it in the front This is how you'll get right so basically this ko fix kiya gaya hai about point a or abhi usko 45 degrees inclination diya gaya hai right so this point ke about usko suspend kiya hai uske about hi wo tilt hoga right so we'll project the points projector from here on this locus of C make the use of roller scale to get the exact positioning of the line So these are the new position so this is locus of a dash and a will give a point a1 dash right so this is b1 c1 locus of b1 and b dash will give you b1 dash and c over here c1 dash this will be G1 dash connect them so this is how the projection is obtained so just a short revision a triangle isoscalar triangle of given dimension is given we have found out G which is at a distance of G by 3 and it is suspended about one of the points of the base so a ke about humne usko tanga diya hai floor ko now when you hang it out one thing is that along this line center of gravity will come on point centroid so we accordingly we regenerate this figure 
and it is making an angle of 45 degrees with VP. Accordingly, we get this projection. So I hope the concept is clear and the construction is understood. So thank you very much. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.